find the perimeter correcting to two decimal places. Okay, so again, we want to find the perimeter of this shape. Now, we've got 10, so this must also be 10, but we don't have this side and we don't have this arc. Well, this is actually a semi, half of a circle, isn't it? Semicircle. So let's first find this one. And you can see this is a right angle triangle. So what I'm gonna do is apply my Pythagoras theorem. So the height, this is the height, is square root of hypotenuse squared minus this adjacent side squared. You should be used to this now. I'm not gonna go through that because we've done a lot of Pythagoras theorem. So if you put that into your calculator and make to one, uh, sorry, two decimal places, that's your answer. So we've got the height now. So we've got one other side. Now all we need to do is find this arc, which is half of a circumference. Arc is two pi r times half because it's a half of a circumference. Now this one here, the radius, how did we get that? Well, see how the diameter is this length here, which is the same as the height. And we've just found height, which is 11.18. But that's the diameter. We need the radius, don't we? So we divide it by two. Okay, that's what I did there. Two pi r times half, because we only want half of the circle. And calculate that, and um, two decimal places, 17.56. So that's the arc. So to find the perimeter, we need to add the height, we need to add the arc, and we have to add two of the tens. So add them all up, and you should get 48.74. Okay, so you have to spend a little bit of time. But this time, we have this four, and we have a four, so we have at least two of the sides. But, have a look guys, we don't have this arc, this length here, and we don't have this length. So basically we don't have two arcs, so we have to look for those values. Now, I hope you guys can see that this arc and this arc, they're both part of a semicircle. Okay, they're half of a full circle. So what we need to do is calculate their individual circumferences and divide it by two, or times by half, because we want half of the circumference. Have a look at the smaller circle. From here to here, that's the diameter of the smaller circle, isn't it? Now we know that that's four and that's four, so together they make eight. And we know that from here to here it's 20. So 20 minus tw uh, eight is 12, so this diameter is 12, okay? Now, what's the radius then? Because we need the radius to find the circumference. The radius must be six, just half of 12. Now for the bigger circle, we know that the diameter is simply 20. So what's the radius of the bigger circle? 10. Okay, so we've got the radiuses, should be very, very simple. It should be two pi times 10. So this part here is for the bigger arc. Two pi r, r is 10. So we do two pi times 10 times half, because that's a half semicircle. Plus, this part here is the smaller circle, 2 pi times 6 times a half. And then we have to add this side and this side, so 4 plus 4. Okay, now guys, simplify that because we need to put it in exact value, so simplify individually. So this one here, what's half times 10? Half times 10 is 5, and 5 times 2 is 10. So we've got 10 pi there. And see here, six times a half is three. Three times two is six, so we have six pi there. So we've got 10 pi plus six pi plus four plus four, which gives you that, as I said, which is 16 pi plus 10. Okay, and that's the answer. Leave it like that because they want you to put it in exact form. Find the perimeter in exact form, so again, exact values, okay? They give you this is eight. So this must be eight, eight, and eight, right? So they're all eight. But we don't have the arc. And you can see if I kind of like make that, that's actually a quarter of a circle, isn't it? So this arc is a quarter. That's the fraction of the circumference that we want. So what's the radius? The radius must be from the center to the edge. So if this is eight, this is also eight, so the radius is eight plus eight, which is 16. 
So let's go ahead and find the arc. So it's going to be 2 pi r, remember how I said the radius is 16, so 2 pi times 16 times a quarter, because that's the part of the fraction of the circumference that we want, so a quarter, plus 4 times 8, because there's 1, 2, 3, 4 lots of 8s in this shape. Find the exact value, so make sure you simplify this first. 16 divided by 4 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, so we have 8 pi here. And then we add it to 4 times 8, which is 32. That's the answer, 8 pi plus 32. That is your answer in exact value. So make sure you don't calculate it using your calculator, okay? Make sure you always do what the question asks you to do.